What is going on, my Leo kings and queens, sun, moon, and rising? I hope you're having a fantastic day. But the wheel, the spin the wheel chose you, Leo. So we got an important message for the week ahead for your love and romance. Let's see what's going on. And already off to a bad start. Bottom of the deck. Five of wands, some drama, some chaos, some arguing, some bullshit, huh? Oh, shit. Too many cards came out. Jesus. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> Wait, Leo's like, give me my message, motherfucker. I'm here, Leo. Chill. What's going on, though? Let's see. Week ahead for Leo's. What's going on here? Oh, wow. So many cards are flying out. If they're meant to come back out, they will. Let's see what's going on. Bam. Oh, two cards came out. Wow. Queen of Swords. Oh, my God. The cards are falling all, all over my lap. But, Leo... I feel like this is you getting into the same cycle of asking yourself, is this going anywhere? And that Queen of Swords kind of energy standing out to me like, yo, stop playing the same mindset and roll the broken record in yourself asking and questioning if this is love or if this is even worth your time and energy and effort. And I feel like you've been indecisive and, you know, kind of some of y'all feel like you're afraid because you're like, is all this energy and time going to waste? You know what I'm saying? So let's see. Let's, let's dig it a little deeper. Hello. The devil card. Damn. Okay, hold on. I was about to say, is the sex there? But is it love there? And it's lust because you're walking away from this situation, huh? I wonder why you've been asking yourself. I feel like for some of you... Hold on. Hold on. Hear me out. Because I was going to say, I feel like some of you... Comment down below if this feels like it resonates. But I feel like some of you... Feel like you're being taken advantage of for your financial rather is you know you're set financially you're working on something that's spiritual that does serve a higher greater purpose beyond you i feel like you're asking yourself is this person really with me for the right reason you know what i'm saying do they want you just for your money are they on that same timeline of creating something that's beautiful of the divine of the universal destiny that you have and i feel like you're walking away and not falling for temptations, not sticking around just because the sex is good. And I feel like some of y'all is like, the sex is not even that good. And I'm not interested, you know. And you got love and hope coming your way, though. You learn a valuable lesson here regardless. Oh, my God. You get this. Yo, this card is like the lover's card for love. I'm just saying. This is a beautiful fucking scenery of that solid, beautiful, divine love. And... The solid foundation of being able to be who you are and not being afraid to express and give and take. You know what I'm saying? An equal exchange here. However, some of y'all might go on a random date. Holy shit, camera just shaking. My bad. But some of y'all might go on a random date. I don't know why some some of y'all is somebody you know that you you least expected for them to have that attachment or consideration of dating you. You're like, oh, this person likes me. I don't know. Some of y'all, some of y'all feel that way, and you're a fucking Leo, so you should know. Everybody wants to be like you. Uh, they're afraid to admit that, but you still walk and talk that shit, and I'm proud of you for that. And if you're not doing that, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> like, like I, I can't make the shit up. <laughs> can't make the shit up though. But you, damn, ten of fucking cups too. You're definitely celebrating something. This was a valuable lesson that you learned. From a situation that, you know, you had to go through and experience. And I feel like for, you know, I know it's Pisces you see the magical. And people are not always remembering the deeper level under the surface of Pisces season. Which is the spiritual healing, the work, the true evolution and expansion of that mission, the vision, the love, the appreciation, the gratitude. And not like putting things in the closet or swiping it under the rug. You're bringing those skeletons out and embracing it and letting it be a part of you and shining brighter than fucking ever. And I'm proud of you fucking Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venuses. Wait, not Venuses. Sun, Moon, and Rising. My bad. Kings and Queens out here doing the fucking Leo shit. Who gives a shit what everyone has to say? You're a fucking Leo, all right? And you can always tell with Leos, if they're not living their true fucking expressive soul, they're not, they're not happy. They don't have what they want in their life. They are unfulfilled. So when you're being a true fucking Leo, oh boy, you shine more than fucking ever to where people 
Holy shit, I almost kicked my thing over. You shine so hard that some people, they just get rocked to sleep. Like, damn, too bright. Let me, I can't deal with it. You know what I'm saying? But nah, Leo, I'm proud of you. Whatever lesson you learn, get, pat yourself on the back. Get the fuck up and keep it moving. Do not give up on yourself. Do not give up on being your true self ever. Don't be, don't. Don't let some people in your life knock you down and make you not want to be your genuine self anymore. That's not the way to go about it because then you lose. Then you let them win. You feed their ego more that they broke you down and teared you down. But you're not like that. I don't give a fuck what your zodiac sign is. If you're watching this right now and you made it this far and you watch my page, you are not letting anyone take the genuine, authentic soul of your fucking life away from you. For no reason no excuses. You're fucking amazing. And I appreciate y'all very much from the bottom of my heart. Smash that subscribe button. Show your boy some love. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Stay blessed. Peace.